By popular demand, here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup to help our new fabs and besties find some of our favorite videos. And I know you're ready to decorate your dollhouse for the holiday season. So let's start with the Christmas tree. From the Christmas tree farm to the Christmas tree, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make Christmas accessories for a doll using recycled computer paper, felt, yarn, a wooden dowel, if you do not have a wooden dowel, you can try using a colored pencil, a needle and thread, ribbon, beads, a cereal box, wrapping paper, and glue. I start by rolling the computer paper into a cone. Use glue to secure the end. For a taller tree, I just add more paper. And the more layers of paper added, the sturdier the tree becomes. Trim the bottom to make it flat and can stand up straight. Now to cover my tree, glue a piece of yarn to the inside, begin wrapping the yarn around the cone, making sure to add small amounts of glue along the way. Trim and glue the end, lightly wrap it with another yarn, glue the wooden dowel into the cone, trim off the excess, glue the end into an empty spool, Stack two pieces of felt, sketch out the shape of a stocking, cut through both layers, flip them so the pencil marks are on the inside, cut two pieces of white felt to go on top. On the wrong side of the red felt, sew the white felt at the top. I am using a basic in and out stitch. On the good side of the stocking, I'm going to do a little hand stitching. By starting from the back, I just take my thread up through and go back down until I make like a little star or snowflake shape. And after each snowflake or star is complete, I tie and cut the ends on the opposite side. And this is a great opportunity to practice my hand stitching. Flip the felt over to the right side, line up both stockings so the good side is on the outside, carefully stitch the red sides together, then fold the white back down, then stitch each side closed. And I like to put a little dab of glue on the back of my threads to make sure they don't come undone. Sew on beads for decoration, fold over a small piece of ribbon, glue the ends together, then glue it inside. We made boxes from our shoebox tutorial, covered them in wrapping paper, glue ribbon to the top and a bow, add felt to the inside, Fill the boxes with presents like bracelets or necklaces from our How to Make Doll Jewelry video or a felt scarf and beanie hat. We made a fireplace from our How to Make a Doll Fireplace video, only this time we used our printable scrapbook paper. Took a broken hair clip, glued them to the bottom, dry brush on a little black paint for soot, add a few sticks from outside to be the logs, hang the stockings, and you're done. Happy crafty! fun way to make Christmas trees. I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and this is pretty much the basic idea. But you take a pipe cleaner and you're going to pinch it at the end so that you can grab it and just start turning it on itself. What I'm doing is I'm going to wind it up until it makes like a flat lollipop shape. Once it is coiled into this little disc, you simply just poke up the top and stretch it out. Then you might need to spend some time just coiling it and moving it here and there until it makes the perfect shape that you're looking for. At this point you can start to decorate your tree, whether you're sliding beads on it or hot gluing them into place. Now I know some of you are looking at this and saying, 
That is entirely too small for my dollhouse, but that's okay because the beauty of this project is, is that you can make the trees bigger by adding more pipe cleaners. And if you have access to a dollar store, you might even be able to find these, which are like pine needle looking pipe cleaners. By taking the ends and wrapping them around each other, I can make a longer pipe cleaner so that I can make a bigger tree. I am now coiling three pipe cleaners together and this will make a good tree that can sit on a table for either a Barbie or an American girl. And there's an easy tree for your dollhouse. Now that we have our doll sized tree, let's make some decorations. Using ribbon, wrap it around the tree, make bows to place around the tree. Take thread and beads, cut and glue a small piece of thread into the bead, making a loop so that it can hang on the branches. Using fabric and felt, cut two circles. Stack them so the good side is on the inside, draw a circle in the center, and a line going out to the edge. Using a needle and thread, sew around the outer edge, down one side of the line, and around the circle. Cut up the line, making small cuts around the circle, then turn it inside out. Sew the opening closed to make a tree skirt. Glue loops of thread to the back of decorative buttons to make more ornaments to decorate the tree. And we can add these light up necklaces we found at the craft store and grocery store to make a tree with working lights. Just be sure to turn them off when not in use. Another idea is to tear off small pieces of toilet paper, dip them in water, then make a ball. Make several and allow them to dry. Using a needle and thread, carefully string them together, lightly dab it with a yellow marker, brush with glue to seal it to make a popcorn garland. Make them bigger, roll a strip of paper around a toothpick, glue it on top, paint the rolled paper, bend a small piece of wire, glue it inside the paper tube. Brush the toilet paper with a layer of glue, sprinkle with glitter, to make a bulb, take thread and twist it, apply a clear drying glue, shape it into a loop and allow it to dry on plastic, trim off the excess to make candy canes. Trim, bend, horse open sleigh, dashing through the snow, in the one horse open sleigh, over the fields we go, laughing all Add glitter to make a simple tree topper. And you're done. Happy crafting! Laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. slightly larger tree. Well, I'm going to use an old cereal box or a piece of uh, poster board will work fine. And I'm going to draw a large cone shape. You start out with a triangle and then give it a rounded bottom and cut it out. Then I'm going to bend it into a cone shape and glue it. Once it's dry, trim away at the bottom until it makes a nice cone shape that can stand up straight. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of glue at the top and using last year's garland 
I'm just going to start wrapping it all the way around my cone until it is completely covered. I'm going to put little dabs of glue along the way to keep it in place. Keep in mind that the size of your cone will determine the size of your tree. If you would like a larger, fuller tree, just use a larger piece of cardboard and cut your triangle wider. And now we get to the fun part. I'm going to hot glue beads onto my tree and decorate it all nice and pretty. And I'm done. Hafty, hafty, crafty, happy. For the holiday season, we are going to make a new version for a doll Christmas tree using pipe cleaners, twigs, popsicle sticks, and glue. I start by trimming the ends off of a popsicle stick. Cut two, making one slightly longer than the other. Sand the rough edges smooth with a nail file. Cut the smaller popsicle stick in half. Glue it to the sides of the larger one. Then glue a small piece going across for support. For a larger tree, we can cross and glue jumbo popsicle sticks to make the base for the tree. For the trunk, we can use a twig that we found outside or roll a recycled paper tube and cover with a wood grain scrapbook paper. And this is a good way to get the perfect size you want. Glue the trunk onto the base, take pipe cleaners, and we found these pine pipe cleaners at Hobby Lobby and I am going to wrap them around the trunk. Give it a twist, trim off the excess, and continue going up the tree trunk, gradually making them smaller to make simple pine trees. To make a fuller tree, cut and twist pieces of pipe cleaner several times onto each branch to make a Christmas tree that is ready to be decorated for the holidays. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a Christmas tree lot for a doll using recycled cardboard, scrapbook paper, pipe cleaners, thread, paint, paper clips, ribbon and bows, beads, recycled paperboard, and glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when dealing with hot objects. I start by cutting a piece of cardboard for the base. Cut thin strips of cardboard, stack and glue them together. To make a few beams, cover with scrapbook paper, glue the beams into the corners, cut a house shape out of a piece of cardboard, cut a rectangle for a side wall, and another for the floor. Cut out a window, cover with paper, glue the walls to the floor, cover the inside with scrapbook paper to look like wallpaper, use paper for trim, and a door. Cut cardboard. Cover with paper, then glue it on to make the trim stand out. Cut and cover strips of cardboard, glue it on top for the roof. Place it in the back corner for a small building on the tree lot. Glue beads onto thread, glue the thread to the beams for lights. Wrap ribbon around the beams and add bows for decoration. Bend pipe cleaners into a circle Attach a bow, cut the end off of an unfolded paper clip, bend it to make a hook. Push the ends into a beam to display the reefs. Cut and glue together pieces of paperboard, paint it, lightly sketch, paint over the sketch, lightly sand with a nail file to make vintage signs to place around the lot. Add trees from our doll Christmas tree video to finish the Christmas tree lot. 
And for a little extra fun, we found these light-up necklaces at Michael's Craft Store that can be used for working lights. And you're done. Happy crafting! We gather round the chimney, sitting close to keep us warm. The mistletoe is hanging at the door. Christmas is the time to set your mind and spirit free. Everybody smile while we decorate the tree. If I could, I wish for you to spend Christmas here with me. For joining us for this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below like comment share and subscribe follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye